Welcome back everybody. You'll notice I'm in the shanty with my 300 wind mag and we're on the very first hunt this spring and it's for woodchucks. I've had some cell cams up here and getting a ridiculous amount of woodchucks on them so I figured I'd come up here tonight and see if I couldn't spot one or two. Actually when I got up here there was one that ran in right over here in the corner so if I sit here a little while we might be in business. That bugger might come back out. They like this new seating up here. We're going to want to make sure they realize that this really ain't a good place to be when Cliff comes sneaking up with this 300 wind mag. We'll keep our eyes peeled and turn you on when one comes out. Well, we got a mouse buddy in there. two of them. Well, there's a woodchuck that just got out on a pile of rocks over here, so we're going to go ahead and load the 300 wind mag up. This is a 168 grain Sierra match tip. Trying to do this one-handed is not the easiest thing in the world. There we go. We're, uh, at our 100 yard zero, that's only like 120 yards where it's at, so we're not going to adjust anything. We're just going to go ahead and I'm going to get this camera set up and let that bugger have it. That's going to be the first one of the year. He's in trouble. This mouse over here is just shivering. Well, folks, that was the very first woodchuck of the year for me. 300 wind mag equals flying chuck. There's more where that one came from. You got more to, more to shoot. Yep, we blew that thing in the next week. I mean, it literally flew like eight feet straight up in the air when that round hit it. That's not the only one that's here, so we're going to... I see another one down in the strip food plot. Oh, just ran. We'll go ahead and get ready. He'll be back out in a second, I bet. That little, buddy, that little bugger's not too scared. Got another one out over here, right there. We'll get this camera set up over here. That thing's in a world of trouble. Set up.
I think we got ourselves number two. That one was about 140 yards. We'll sit tight and see what else comes out. I got the Night Force SHV 4x14 scope on it. It's a mean machine. We're going to go ahead and put another missile in here. That ain't another woodchuck sticking its head up right there, is it? No. Well, I, I missed that one. I had to hang it up. That was only like 50 yards away, but I don't see it laying there unless it just exploded. Well, I shot it three chucks. The last one was real close here, but I don't even see it. Uh, when I shot, the recoil kicked me off of my field of view, and I don't see a dead woodchuck, but... <laughs> if I miss that one, we're in trouble. Uh, I know I got these other two, so let's go check the other two out. That first one on the rock was kind of cool. I held low on purpose, so, you know, if I hit a little bit low, it would launch it up in the air, maybe even hit the rock underneath it, and the ricochet of the round would go right up into the woodchuck. So I don't know if that's uh, what happened, but that freaking woodchuck flew. Holy crap. Let's go uh, see what we got over here. Oh, there's a, there's a fresh hole we'll have to keep an eye on. Well, right here is where that woodchuck was. I was up in the shanty and it was sitting right on this rock. And I didn't hit the rock, I hit strictly woodchuck. I see there's blood all over the rock. Piece of shrapnel from the round hit right there. That round just obviously rapidly expanded when it hit the groundhog and blue hair and blood everywhere. Look at all the splatter. There's blood and stuff everywhere. And the woodchuck it's laying right over here, but I got to be extremely careful with YouTube and and this stuff. YouTube uh, cracked down on me pretty hard with the blood and gore and guns and stuff. Believe it or not, YouTube doesn't like guns or me <laughs> or pretty much anything I do. So uh, you can use your imagination, but this woodchuck does not look too hot after that 300 wind mag ripped through it. 168 greens here, matched up. It's actually a big woodchuck for early in the spring like this. Hmm. It flew about eight feet, literally eight feet. <laughs> a lot of energy going into them. Well, there's the first one. The next one's down the field a little bit. Let's go see what the aftermath of that looks like. Well, just roll up on the second one. And that one's very dead as well. Hammered it. Blue uh, pieces of it all over the place as you guys can imagine. Got a big giant hole right here on the edge of the field. That's a good one to get rid of. Look at the size of that hole right there. Actually look at all the blood and there's a 
piece of that woodchuck kind of everywhere here. <laughs> Number two, so that's two for three so far. Let's go set, check that close one. That was kind of odd. I didn't see that I actually killed that one. I'd be surprised if uh, if I didn't. Well, we went three for three out of the shanty right there. This one was kind of weird. I couldn't. I guess there's not too many, too much blood and guts on this one from that angle, so YouTube shouldn't shouldn't delete me for that. But uh, three for three tonight. I shot one the other day over here on the top of the soybean food plot. I can't count it though, because it ran back to its hole. So I didn't. It's dead, but it made it back to its hole, so you can't count it. And then I missed one that same woodchuck before that. So I owe everybody 20 push-ups. I'll go ahead and show you uh, the shot on that one right now while I do some push-ups. <laughs> 